Hello everyone, my name is Akash and I am Nizar Arumnas and I will be discussing with you another important question that has been asked in next exam. So this is a question which covers the concept of cladogram and phylogenetics of course. Here they have given a chart, this chart is known as cladogram which represents the ancestry of various organisms. Here they have shown the ancestry of vertebrates actually. Hai na? So they have given four organisms P, Q, R and S hai na? and they have placed it separately on the basis of certain property 1, 2, 3 and 4 and the question is asking that which property corresponds to which organisms. Hai na? So basically we have to tell the correct statement according to this cladogram. Okay, let's see the options. So, for this question, we have to judge the answer by, uh, by the options, not by the questions. Okay, let's see. If Q is bullfrog, if Q is bullfrog, if Q is bullfrog, 2 could be placenta. If Q is bullfrog, 2 could be placenta. But we know that placenta is a characteristic of mammals. So, it should be here. Hai na? A frog is bullfrog is not a mammal na? so it should not contain placenta at all so that's why this statement is wrong here okay now next if features 3 and 4 if features 3 and 4 are memory gland and here so let's say here this is memory gland and this is here body here respectively then r represents kangaroo r represents kangaroo and S represents human. Hai na? So, so sahi hai ki we know that mammary gland is present in kangaroo. But hairs are also present in kangaroo. But hair is written after kangaroo. That's why this statement becomes incorrect as a whole. Hai na? Up to this thing it is correct. But this hair should be also placed in the three, third one characteristic. Hai na? So that's why this statement is also incorrect because Sangaru also have hairs. Hai na? If fourth one has hair, it means that all the organisms uh, before four do not contain hair. Hai na? So that's why this is incorrect. Now let, let's say other option. If QRS, if, if QRS represents bullfrog, bullfrog, koala, koala is a marsupial just like kangaroo and human. Okay, respectively, then feature two could be two pair of limbs. Feature two could be two pairs of limbs. This seems to be right actually. Why? Because bullfrog, koala, humans, all of them contains what? Four uh, limbs, hai na? Matlab, two pairs means four limbs. Hai na? So that's why this is correct because all of them contains two pairs of limbs hai na? and it is written here in the property number two. So it means that all the organisms after two contains this thing which is two pairs of limbs. That's why this statement is correct here. Now let's see the last one. If feature one is lungs, if feature one is lungs, then P and Q are shark and bullfrog. Then P is shark and Q is bullfrog. This is incorrect because if lungs is property number one, then all the organism after this one property will contain lungs. It means shark should have lungs, but shark have gills. It's a fish. Hana, that's why this statement is incorrect. Okay. So the correct answer is third one. Uh, okay. Check it. Now, so hope you liked and also understood this question. Hana. We will meet in the next video with another question. Okay, till then, bye bye.